In a stirring address during the commemoration of the 37th anniversary in the village, spiritual leader Satsguru Maraji called upon leaders at all levels to take proactive measures and ensure the meaningful existence of citizens. Addressing the gathered audience, Guru Maharaj emphasized the crucial role of leadership in shaping the destiny of a nation and urged leaders to prioritize the well-being of their constituents. Especially concerned over recent events, Guru condemned the attack on the Oyo State Secretariat by Yoruba Nation agitators. To allow the black people the opportunity to dig into the spiritual world to bring all the good things that we have been lacking since the beginning of this century. To help in our socioeconomic development, to create employment, to end scarcity, insecurity in view of the past. The woman one is able to experience the light of God within him or her. The problems are over. Uh, it's an organized one from the north, east, west and London to just um, you know to just organize the people to believe that uh, um, the agitation for the nation is now going the other way around. Uh, agitation for your nation has been called since the beginning of civilization. But if you look at what happened there it appears that it's a pre-planted against Sunday Bohu and from the higher dimension, Mr. President. Because the whole game there is to prove uh, Sunday Bohu wrong, that he is struggling for um, freedom, justice and liberty. It's not right. Because if you look at the way the things are, it's, it doesn't make sense. Can never happen. Somebody who wants peace, you must do so with what? Yes, equity. You must be right. So I believe that um, it was planned from the north, where some people were going to very soon we will know the secret. Yes, it was um, those who came in, they were just like people picked here and there. It's just like somebody, an arm robber, carrying a um, punch newspaper in the hand. Was he sent by punch newspaper? No, it cannot, it cannot be done, not in Nigeria, particularly Oyo State. No, 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 we are bigger than that. We they know us that we are the best settlers in the world. In a notable suggestion, Guru advised President Bola Tinubu to consider opening the Nigerian borders as a means to elevate the burden on the economy, highlighting the potential benefits of increased trade and exchange, Guru proposed a strategic approach to economic revitalization. Uh, I have forwarded a lot to the president and even past president. The big men and women, they are eating more than they can consume. Some they eat, they drink, they have aeroplanes, they have cars, each of them. They have companies here and there, but they have forgotten that uh, any big illusion in the air shaking our way. So all we have to do is for the government is to take the step they are taking and go furthermore to make sure that, like I said, where the interest rates are high, prices are high, and uh, you know, it means that the money for the economic activity to the ordinary man has been kept away. And so EFCC must buck up. You can see how the government is dealing with MFLA, dealing with uh, Beta Edu, and many others. If you look at Gandhi J, the chairman of the whole party, he has it means that the government has a case. He has to follow his mandate. And so all we have to do, like the education fund uh, for students and indeed um, the Southeast Development Commission and many others that the government has put on. Only we have to regulate what we import. 
there's not everything we allow it. In fact, there are companies that have sneaked in against the economy of this country. Because before now, the government, they have been yum, yum, chop, make a chop, chop, make a chop. You know, imagine uh, uh, they having about 25% of the budget. We want to ask them, where are the constituency projects? Chairman of local governments, where give us your whole budgetary proposals since the past 20 years. We have to go for them. We can't allow them to disappear. Once we have it, okay, now, as for the insecurity, I said so, and I'll say it. We have to go African science. Remember 1994, when Papa OBJ, we do respect Papa, okay, then we pass down. Papa Obasanjo was among the eminent men sent to South Africa. In the press conference, he said, we are going to use what? African science. Did he use any ambitions? No. He knew how they did it. They followed the new warriors and they went in. And what? South Africa, South Africa surrender. And you free Mandela and the rest. So, the same way today, the bandits is the not. They are not bandits. They are political as men and women, organized by the politicians in the not. Yes, so all we have to do is what? Give it what it takes. Apply what we can do, and then we cannot go it alone, go in one way, and go into bomb bomb. It's all oh, lie. You can see even somebody was saying it will end up Boko Haram insurgency within a few months. One of the top uh, army men, he was bombed in the sky. So today they need to sit down and talk this over the way the president wants it, and we will overcome. As the nation navigates through uncertain times, his message serves as a reminder of the importance of unity, compassion, and forward-thinking governance. Taiwo, Olariwaju, Impact TV.